the break will come. All it takes is one show, one documentary. That's it. We often think that we're like the Italians in the rain, or they say that the Welsh are because we love music, we love passion for sport, community, family, and really that's what we're about. We're about going forward, and we have been going forward as a family for about 25 years. In the middle, we were owned by Sky, and we got it back. So we're back family owned and very happy with it and growing exponentially. We do live events like Life Drawing Live with Joe Lysett, two documentaries on the Paratroopers, Variety View One, or you know, we're in the middle of something for a number of documentaries for different broadcasters. We're also known for Songs of Praise, of course, and, you know, m big events like the Mobos. I was in university, everybody was going, traveling around the world, and I managed to get a job in television. There were 750 applicants, and I got the job. I think I got the job because I was in the paper for being in a, in a band the week before and for winning the prose medal the week after, so I was creative. I think it was a matter of having to do something to tell a story, because I've always written songs or I've written poetry, and I needed to express myself, and I was working for ITV to begin with, became the youngest producer director when I was 24 in the BBC, and then head of department when I was 28, so it happened quite quickly. And then I realized I wasn't seeing my family much, so I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with my family and work with them. What I know now has been, you know, from, learned from Emir. Emir has always been a entrepreneur, most first and foremost. So I think Emir is a forward thinker, and he thinks outside the box, and he's been a driving force with his creative ideas. He loves being inspired by everything and anything that he does. He's incredibly passionate about creating content, about discovering new talent and about the business. And it's almost like a baby, another baby in our family, the fifth child in our family, because it's everything to us. So with Naomi, uh, she's been my, one of my best friends since I was young. That privilege of working with your family um, and developing the business with someone like Naomi is really kind of an honour. I think he gets frustrated at times because I have the same tenacity and uh, tendencies as uh, my father, Emir, to be creative, to be thinking, blue, you know, blue sky thinking and thinking, of course we can do that, you know, without thinking about the nitty gritty of whether it's practical or realistic. But that's why we, you know, we work so well together. I've had to learn to be a CEO because as a creative, I'm very passionate and very emotional. You have to be to tune into things around you. But being the statesman, being above that, you know, dealing with Difficult situations or people or talent is one of the biggest challenges. And as you grow, you, you know, you learn to step back from a situation and read it. My message for the next generation is Daliarati, as we say in Welsh, which is keep going. It's really difficult when you have the nose and you have the, but the break will come. All it takes is one show, one documentary, that's it. And then the trajectory is clear. But you, you know, it's not an easy game. You know, if you want to get into telly, it never has been. Now there's a lot of careers, but you know, you just need to daliarati, keep going. Me and my brother Oshan have now started thinking about what the next 25 years will look like. So we're, we're quite excited by the prospects of the future. We have to respect our heritage and our legacy, a lot of Welsh uh, programming, Welsh language programming, music, live, and using that to our advantage to become one of the biggest, most respected indies from the regions. That's our goal, ultimately. The, the privilege that we have as filmmakers is incredible. I mean, we've been in places that I could never dream that we would ever be, you know, and that access is incredible. I was there when the Berlin Wall came down, you know, that for me was the moment. I flew out as a young programme maker and I was there. And those are the things you remember when you, you know, actually captured something that mattered in history. And there's been several since then, which is great. You know, I love my job. The rewarding part of my job always is the Eureka moment, when you get that idea, got it, right, life drawing live or we'll do Tom Jones singing on the green green grass of home nobody's done that before and then we do it you know that's when or we get the access or we nail it that's still the buzz that I yearn for and I thankfully I'm still getting it and I'm still in a position where you know those are the moments that I treasure <laughs>